Some gentle giants could hold the key to finding new treatments for childhood cancer. It seems elephants rarely come down with the disease, and scientists think the reason lies in their genes. A landmark study is now underway to see how we can use that knowledge to treat cancer in people. Phil Ke Keating has that story. These majestic Asian elephants lumbering along in retirement are no longer performing at the circus, but providing what could potentially be a cure for cancer. When I look at these amazing, amazing animals, 55 million years, they've figured out how not to get cancer. And I feel like the secret for us, for humans, is coursing through their blood. It all began when Joshua Schiffman, a pediatric oncologist at the University of Utah, wondered why cancer kills 25% of humans, but fewer than 5% of elephants. First, he needed elephants. A lot of elephants. So he teamed up with Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, which happens to own the largest herd of elephants in the Western Hemisphere. Good girl, come here. After the big top, the elephants live out their lives in Florida. A lot of foot at the Center for Elephant Conservation, where the circus immediately put these elephants back in the spotlight. To think that our elephants um, can be a part of research that could help save children's lives is pretty amazing. It doesn't bother her a bit. Through weekly blood draws from their ears, Schiffman's research team discovered elephants have 20 times as many P53 genes as we do. P53 genes attack and kill cancer cells. Without the P53 gene, cancer cells thrive and multiply. Schiffman points out that his team hasn't discovered the cure for cancer, but that elephants rarely get cancer. 16,000 children get some form of cancer every year. The prestigious Journal of the American Medical Association calls this research provocative, albeit preliminary. The challenge now is to develop a drug that replicates in humans what happens naturally in elephants. In Central Florida, Phil Keating, Fox News.